Have you ever looked at a chart and thought, wait, is that real? Because that's exactly what investors have been asking about some of the hottest quantum computing stocks lately. Over the past year, companies like IonQ, Rigetti Computing, and D-Wave Quantum have seen their shares skyrocket in some cases by over 5,000%. That's not a typo. But here's the real question. Is this the start of a new tech revolution or just another bubble waiting to burst? Today we're unpacking everything you need to know about quantum computing, the companies leading the charge, and what history tells us about where this incredible rally might be headed next. Welcome to Money Mind Finance. If you're new here, we break down the biggest stories in tech, finance and innovation, and everything stock news analysis in a way that's fun, easy to follow, and worth your time. Before we dive in, please take a second to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and also subscribe. Please help this video to get at least 500 likes. It really helps to support the channel and keeps us bringing you the latest market insight. Thank you. Before we dive in, a quick disclaimer. This video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. Always do your own research before making investment decisions. Investing involves risk, including the loss of principle. Let's start with some perspective. Ever since the internet boom of the 1990s, every decade seems to deliver its own next big thing. Remember genome decoding, nanotechnology, 3D printing, blockchain, the metaverse, and now, of course, artificial intelligence? Each of these breakthroughs came with massive excitement and a flood of investor money chasing the dream of early adoption. But every once in a while, two transformative trends collide. And right now, that's exactly what's happening between artificial intelligence and quantum computing. Quantum computing isn't just another step forward. It's a complete paradigm shift in how we process information. Instead of relying on the familiar ones and zeros of classical computers, quantum computers use qubits, which can represent both one and zero at the same time. That means they can perform many calculations simultaneously, potentially solving problems that today's most powerful supercomputers couldn't crack in thousands of years. Sounds incredible, right? And that's exactly why investors are pouring into this space. Over the past year, IonQ is up more than 700%. Rigetti Computing has surged over 5,400%. D-Wave Quantum has jumped 3,400%. And Quantum Computing Inc. is up about 2,800%. These are life-changing numbers. The kind of returns that make headlines and attract newcomers dreaming of getting in early. But, as we'll soon see, history has something important to say about these kinds of rallies. So what's driving all this excitement? The potential applications of quantum computing are enormous. Let's break down just a few examples that are fueling this hype. First, artificial intelligence. Quantum computers could supercharge AI training. Think about how long it takes to train a large language model like ChatGPT or Google Gemini. It requires massive data sets, enormous computing power, and weeks, sometimes months, of processing. But quantum computers might dramatically shorten those timelines. By handling calculations in parallel, they could help AI systems learn faster, simulate outcomes more efficiently, and even unlock capabilities that classical computing simply can't handle. Second, healthcare and drug discovery. This is one of the most promising areas. Imagine being able to simulate how a molecule interacts with the human body down to the atomic level in seconds. That means researchers could design new treatments for diseases like cancer, Alzheimer's, or even rare genetic disorders without years of trial and error. Third is climate modeling, cybersecurity, and finance. Quantum computing could improve everything from predicting extreme weather patterns to optimizing global supply chains to securing data using encryption that even other quantum computers can't break. These are not small ideas, they're world-changing if they become reality. That's why analysts at Boston Consulting Group estimate that quantum technology could create between $450 billion 
and $850 billion in global economic value by 2040. But there's a catch. All of that assumes quantum computing actually becomes practical, scalable, and affordable. And history reminds us, that's a very big if. Let's rewind for a second. If you've been investing for a while, you might remember the dot-com bubble of the early 2000s. Back then, anything with dot-com in its name could double overnight, even if it had no profits, no users, and no real plan. It wasn't that the Internet wasn't revolutionary, it was. But investors overestimated how quickly that revolution would change the world. And when reality set in, the Nasdaq lost nearly 80% of its value from peak to trough. The same story has repeated over and over again, from nanotechnology and 3D printing to blockchain, cannabis stocks and the metaverse. Each one began with enormous potential, followed by enormous hype, and then eventually a painful correction. So where does that leave quantum computing? Right now this technology is still incredibly early stage. We're talking about machines that operate at near absolute zero temperatures, require highly specialized environments, and cost millions of dollars to build and maintain. In other words, while the promise is real, the practical use is still far away for most companies and consumers. And that brings us to the first historical warning sign. Investors almost always overestimate how quickly the next big thing will become mainstream. Now, let's look at the second red flag valuation. When a stock price runs too far ahead of its actual earnings or sales, we say it's priced for perfection. And history shows that even world-changing technologies have limits. For example, in the mid-1990s, the leading pioneers of new technologies, from internet giants to early biotech firms, tended to top out at price-to-sales ratios between 30 and 40. That's already extremely high. But right now, based on Wall Street's best estimates for the next few years, IonQ trades at a PS ratio around 32. Rigetti Computing sits near 95. And D-Wave Quantum hovers around 54. These valuations are based on future revenue projections four years out, not actual earnings today. And that's the key point. These companies are being valued as if quantum computing is already mainstream, when in reality it's still in the research and prototype stage. No company in history leading a brand new technology has sustained a PS ratio above 30 or 40 for long. So statistically speaking, this kind of rally is almost always followed by a major correction. That doesn't mean these companies won't succeed over the next decade. In fact, they might and some could become the next great tech giants. But it does mean that today's share prices are likely way ahead of what their current fundamentals justify. So for long-term investors, the message is simple. Be excited by the innovation, but be realistic about the timeline. Let's be clear. Quantum computing isn't a scam or a passing fad. It's a genuine breakthrough in science and engineering. But breakthroughs take time. It took over a decade for the Internet to become mainstream. It took even longer for smartphones to reshape our lives. And AI, as powerful as it is today, has been in research labs for more than 50 years. Quantum computing will likely follow a similar path, a slow, steady evolution, not an overnight revolution. So what can investors do? Instead of chasing hype-driven rallies, focus on education. Learn what's real and what's still experimental. Diversify your portfolio so you're not overly exposed to one emerging technology. And above all, be patient. The market often rewards those who wait for reality to catch up to potential. If you're enjoying these market insights and finding them helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you. So to wrap this up, yes, quantum computing stocks have exploded. Yes, the technology could change the world. But history has taught us that even world-changing ideas can face painful corrections before they find their true value. So whether you're watching IonQ, Rigetti, D-Wave, or any other player in this space, stay curious, stay cautious, and keep your eyes on the long-term horizon. The content in this video is for educational and informational purposes only. 
This is not financial advice, and nothing here guarantees returns. Always consult your own financial advisor, verify facts, and understand that all investing involves risk, especially in emerging volatile names. If you found this breakdown helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel reach more people. And if you enjoy deep dives like this on emerging technologies and market trends, make sure you share this video to your fellow investors. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the next upload. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you think quantum computing will be the next trillion dollar revolution? Or will it go the way of the dot-com bubble before it stabilizes? Drop your answer in the comments. I'll be reading and replying to as many as I can. Thanks so much for watching and as always stay informed, stay invested and stay grounded.